guys, Greg C96 here. I'm gonna call this the morning commute, but it's not really the morning commute. I'm just in my car between classes because I had a midterm in this last class, so I got out of it super duper early. And I still have to be here at 11.30 to do tutoring. So I got like 45 minutes to kill, so I'm just in my car. Eating lunch. So, I want to talk about one really, I have one really particular thing I want to talk about. And this is, I don't know, there might be a What the Friday on Big Box about this topic, but uh, it's, it's, I just have to talk about it, because like, what the hell? All right. Sorry that I'm eating lunch, but I gotta, I gotta eat. So basically what's going on is, I've announced it before, I live in Worcester, Worcester, Massachusetts. In Worcester, Massachusetts, there's a place called Grafton Street. And on Grafton Street, there's this wonderful, wonderful restaurant by the name of McDonald's. And at this particular Grafton Street McDonald's, there... Um, recently posted about it on Facebook I saw it and I was like what the hell this lady she was eating french fries there and she noticed what looked like a super dark burnt spot on the fry and she looked at it closer and that burnt spot was moving there were maggots inside of the french fry so she went up to the counter to get her money back and the cashier said, oh, yeah, this happens all the time. <laughs> what? One, why the fuck does this place shut down if this happens all the time? And two, I guess this is kind of a side point, really. What? How is their food so ill-prepared that through the process of deep frying, it is not killing insects? The heat and temperature are not killing them. How does that happen? And also, you know, who's to say that the burgers and stuff aren't regularly infested, but you're just not noticing it as easily as on, like, a french fry? The whole thing was just... Yeah, I know, we eat bugs in our sleep, whatever. I don't even know if that's true. That could just be a myth. But still, what the hell? Especially in the cashier's place, even if it happens all the time, you don't tell someone that it happens all the time. Oh, this thing's falling apart. But, like, you just, you don't tell your customers, oh, yeah, it happens all the time that people find insects in their food. No, that's disgusting. Well, I'm very glad this person... I told the customer that, because now it's actually been brought to attention and something's going to happen. I don't know what that something is. Hopefully they just close the goddamn place. But hey, whatever, I digress. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a thing that happened. No more McDonald's. No, let's, let's stop eating at McDonald's. Switch to BK. Or start picking up like these wraps and subs from 7-Eleven like I do. But yeah. I don't know, I just wanted to talk about that. Yep. So this weekend, I'm coming out of midterms. I have one test on Monday. But I'm thinking I should have some time this weekend. Specifically Saturday and tomorrow night. I'll try to record some real videos as opposed to morning commute. Well, whatever the hell you want to call this. I guess I'm still going to call it the morning commute even though the car is in park. I don't really give a shit. But yeah. So, expect some videos next week. Expect maybe a What the Friday about that topic. But yeah, that's, that's all I got to say for right now. I just kind of figured, let me take some time to make a video while I have some time to make a video. So, during this two and a half hour tutoring session, where probably no one's going to show up, I'll edit this shit out and upload it. So, you know the drill. 
Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Comment down below. This time, what the hell is going on with McDonald's? That That's a regular thing. Um, check me out on the web at gregc96.com. Check out the rest of the guys in Big Box Gamers over at youtube.com slash bigboxagamers. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out, and I will see you guys next time.